take the most important for your examination as well as for your understanding that is modulator or generation of SSPSC signal. So the modulator or generation of SSPSC signal. The first method is frequency discriminator or filter method. It is very most commonly used method in which a DSPSC signal is generated by using simple product modulator as balanced modulator and then one of the side band is filtered out by an appropriate band pass filter so this is as per shown in the diagram we have modulating signal we have high frequency carrier signal and using mod product modulator as balanced modulator we multiply both the signal we get dsbs signal and from DSPS signal we get SSPS signal by passing this signal via band pass filter and the band pass filter is centered as per upper side band or lower side now the most important point is that the design of band pass filter is very critical and puts some limitation on the modulating and carrier frequency so as per shown in the diagram so we require band pass filter which can pass our desired sideband power which can be upper sideband or lower sideband in diagram we consider upper sideband and filter out the another sideband that is undesired sideband and as per the diagram we have undesired segment that is equivalent to lower segment. So this bad pass filter must require a sharp cutoff and by using their sharp cutoff it can be easily pass our desired segment as SSPSC modulated signal and filter out the undesired segment which is another side. Now, as per the limitation of band pass filter, you get our first limitation that when the base band is not restricted at its lower edge and contain very low frequency, then the upper side band and lower side band may overlap each other. And that is the similar case as we have in our video transmission in which the basement signal start from as low as DC or geo hertz. Hence, there is no separation between upper sideband and lower sideband. Rather, they touch each other at carrier frequency, which is their center frequency. And at that point, a sharp cut of band pass filter is needed to separate desired sideband corresponding to undesired sideband and it is impossible to realize such an ideal band pass filter as shown in the theory. But this filter method can be used for speech communication. As per speech communication, the lowest spectral component is 70 Hz and can be considered as 300 hertz without affecting the intelligibility of the speed signal as shown in the diagram. So as per articulation test, the speed communication can be taken from 300 hertz to 3.5 kilohertz or 0.3 kHz to 3.5 kHz and as per the practical available band pass filter we can easily get our desired sideband and easily filter out the undesired sideband due to the band gap that is equivalent to 600 Hz between upper sideband and lower sideband as per our space communication and which is as per diagram. 
Now the speech communication has no limitation regarding requirement of shortcut of back pass filter. But there is another restriction. The another restriction is that the base band signal should be properly related to carrier frequency. Means the design of band pass filter becomes very difficult. If the carrier frequency is much higher than the benefit of the base band signal. Now we consider the example of speech communication that is our voice signal which has the frequency from 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz. And this voice signal is modulated corresponding to 10 megahertz carrier frequency. Now the band pass filter requires a selectivity that can provide an attenuation of 40 dB within a band gap of 600 hertz at a carrier frequency of 10 megahertz and the percentage of frequency change is equivalent to 0.006% another bit a percentage of frequency change requirement is 0.006% and this percentage of frequency change is equivalent to the ratio of gap band between desired and undesired sideband to the operating carrier frequency. As per the requirement of given example, the design and construction of such a sharp selective band pass filter is very complex and difficult. So this another problem is solved by performing the translation of basement signal to final carrier frequency in multiple stage and this method is known as weaver method this method is known as weaver method now as per our weaver method and our given example we do the frequency translation in two stage in first stage we consider the carrier frequency is equivalent to 100 kilohertz. In final stage, we consider our operating final carrier frequency that is equivalent to 10 megahertz. So, as per our first stage, if we calculate a percentage of frequency change, which is the ratio of gap band to the operating carrier frequency, here it is the ratio of 600 hertz to the 100 kilohertz and this will give the band gap ratio that is equivalent to 0.6% and which is practical feasible means a filter with selective frequency change 0.6% can be feasible now this upper sideband signal which is operated from 100.3 kilohertz to 103 kilohertz this upper sideband signal is transmitted to the second stage and here in the second stage we have 10 megahertz our operating carrier frequency so here if we calculate a percentage of frequency change that is equivalent to 2% and which is also practical feature and by using this viewer method we can sort out the another restriction of SSPC modulated filter modulator method now we get the final outcome of first method that this method is not useful for video transmission in which the baseband signal start from as low as DC hertz. So this method 
can be utilized for speech communication. But in this speech communication, we utilize the Bloop diagram of Weaver method for getting our desired SSBSC signal. Now, after filter method, we have another SSBSC modulator or generation method that is known as phase discriminator or phasing method. In this, the journal SSBSC equation is implemented as per the diagram. So, the function MST, which is Hilbert transform of modulating signal, is generated by passing the modulating signal via a wide band phase shifter. Very important one. Here we use wide band phase shifter because it will provide minus 90 degree or minus 5 by 2 phase shift in every component of modulating signal. And for the carrier wave sine velocity, we take minus 5 by 2 phase shifter. That will provide minus 90 degree or minus 5 by 2 phase shift to one operating fixed frequency corresponding to cos mega ct and the resultant that is equivalent to sin mega ct as sin mega ct is equivalent to cos bracket start omega ct minus pi by 2 now the advantage of this method is that it does not require any sharp cut of filter and it is possible to generate desired sideband in single frequency translation step instead of filter method but it is less popular than filter method due to following limitation the first limitation is that the is balanced modulator that is in the figure need to be carefully balanced with respect to suppression of carrier wave and it is very difficult to design a vibrant phase shifter the third is modulator should have equal sensitivity to the modulating signal the carrier phase shifting network must be an exact minus 90 degree phase shift at the carrier frequency. If we go for the important disadvantage then it is very difficult to design a minus 90 degree wide band phase shifter and which gives the outcome that is MST which is minus 90 degree or minus 5 by 2 phase shift in every component of the modulating signal or MP. Due to this limitation, this method is not popular. However, this wideband phase shifting problem is sorted out by using alpha beta network. And here, the wideband constant phase shift is obtained over a given frequency range by including a phase shifting network in each path of modulation and this phase shifting network has a phase shift which is related by a mathematical equation in which beta minus alpha is equal to pi by 2 and the phase shift alpha and beta are adjusted to provide a constant phase shift over a given frequency range within the specified tolerance. So as per diagram, we can avoid the limitation of wideband phase shifter problem. Thank you very much for your resistance and please subscribe this channel for getting regular updates.